today let's continue with the uh, bank reconciliation statement and uh, i'm going to take up the case when the overdraft or the unfavorable balance as per the cash book is given and we have to arrive at the balance as per the pass book right uh, so now let's first of all understand what is an unfavorable balance or what is an overdraft right <coughs> overdraft balance basically means there is a credit balance in the cash book normally in the cash book it is a debit balance but when there is a credit balance in the cash book it means it is a overdraft this means that we have overdrawn some amount from the bank right that means we don't have any balance in the bank but we have overdrawn some amount and that amount is payable to the bank so when you deposit some money it is deducted from that overdraft right so overdraft balance comes down right uh, that means that you are paying to the bank right <clears throat> now i'll write down here overdraft balance means credit balance in the cash book and it means that amount has been overdrawn from the bank account and whatever money has been overdrawn needs to be paid back to the bank right and is to be <coughs> paid back right now let's uh, i'll just take up a small example to explain this supposing you have a overdraft balance let's say of 10000 rupees right this means that we have to pay 10000 rupees to the bank so when we deposit supposing I, I supposing i'll say deposited checks worth rupees 5000 right deposited checks worth rupees 5000 means you are depositing something into the bank so you are depositing money into the bank so in effect what happens is <clears throat> this overdraft balance comes down right minus 5000 right which is now the overdraft balance is only 5000 rupees right okay now you issue some checks the next one is you issue some checks let's say checks worth rupees 2000 rupees we are issuing right now you don't have any balance in your bank this is a unfavorable balance overdraft balance but you are issuing this check means this will add to the overdraft right so now here the balance is 5000 means whenever you issue some checks this is plus 2000 here so the overdraft becomes 7000 so whatever money is being deposited into the bank that reduces the overdraft balance and whatever you withdraw from the bank or checks you issue to someone right so that is basically an addition to the overdraft balance right now keeping this in mind we'll look at the items to be added and deducted when we start from the overdraft balance as per the cash book to arrive at the balance as per the pass book right so now let's see first of all the items to be added now here the first one checks deposited but not collected by the bank now let's try to understand this checks deposited but not collected by the bank like the same example which i had given 
supposing you have 10,000 rupees overdraft balance now you deposit some checks right so that will reduce the overdraft balance so when we deposit the checks we immediately reduce the overdraft balance from the cash book so the cash book overdraft balance is now decreased but the checks have not been collected by the bank means in the bank the overdraft balance is still more as compared to the cash book right so it is to be added right the next one <clears throat> checks recorded in the cash book but not sent to the bank this is again the same case you have received a check right okay now as soon as you receive the check you record it in the cash book right checks recorded in the cash book right uh, you record it in the cash book so the overdraft balance decreases in the cash book but since you have not sent the checks to the bank at all the bank cannot credit that amount right so the overdraft balance as per the passbook is more so this should be added right thirdly bank charges charged by the bank but not recorded in the cash book right so when the bank when the bank deducts some bank charges that is a debit right so whenever the bank debits an amount it increases the overdraft balance remember this when the bank debits an amount it increases the overdraft balance and when the bank credits an amount it decreases the overdraft balance here bank charges means it is a deduction bank will debit this so already you are running on overdraft added to that the bank charges the overdraft balance will increase so in the bank the overdraft balance will be more and in the cash book we have not recorded this so cash book it will be less so here also it should be added since the bank balances bank overdraft balances more right now the fourth one interest charged by the bank here the bank is charging the interest they are taking interest from you right so that is again a debit so that increases the overdraft balance as per the passbook but this has not been recorded in the cash book right so the cash book overdraft balance is less as compared to the passbook passbook balance is more so it should be added so remember whenever the passbook overdraft balance is more it should be added whenever the passbook overdraft balance is less it should be deducted right fifth point direct payment by the bank as per standing instructions bank is paying something so it will be debited the bank debits the amount right but in the cash book the amount will be deducted only when it is intimated to the customer right so the overdraft balance in the bank will be more as compared to the overdraft balance in the cash book so this also should be deducted right then any wrong debit which is given by the bank sorry the fifth one i said any direct payment made by the bank should be added right okay hmm? wrong debit by the bank should again be added right and then checks issued but not recorded in the cash book when you issue the checks that 
actually increases the overdraft balance because you are issuing the checks you already have a unfavorable balance right but the checks have been issued but they have not been recorded in the cash book so you have not made the entry in the cash book means the cash book balance overdraft balance is less right and when the checks are issued the bank would have collected those i mean bank it would have been presented for payment and the payment would have been made by the bank so in the bank the overdraft balance increases so this amount should also be added right then deposited checks or bills receivable dishonored this case again increases the overdraft balance as per the pass book right so this should also be added fine so these are the items to be added and let's look at the items to be deducted those items which lead to a decrease in the overdraft balance as per the pass book should be deducted that means the pass book overdraft balance is less as compared to the cash book overdraft balance right okay now i'll put down the items here checks issued but not presented for payment checks have been issued so as soon as the checks are issued the overdraft balance as per the cash book increases but it has not been presented for payment means as per the bank the overdraft balance is less right so this should be deducted fine next one checks deposited directly into the bank by a debtor when the checks are deposited directly into the bank the bank will credit that amount right so it will decrease the overdraft balance as per the pass book but in the cash book it is still more so it should be deducted right third point interest allowed by the bank the bank credits this amount right so it should be deducted interest allowed right then dividend collected again the same concept when the bank collects the dividend it credits that and in the cash book it, it would not have been done because unless and until we receive the intimation we can't do that so here again the overdraft balance as per the pass book decreases so this should be deducted right then any wrong credit given by the bank wrong credit given by the bank should be deducted fine sixth one checks deposited into the bank but not recorded in the cash book but not recorded in the cash book right so checks have been deposited into the bank so uh, the bank collects the amount and it reduces the overdraft balance as per the pass book but you have not recorded those checks in the cash book you have forgotten to record it in the cash book means the cash book overdraft balance is still high as compared to the bank overdraft uh, pass book overdraft balance so it should be deducted right so these are the items to be added and deducted in case of an unfavorable balance as per the cash book right so each and every transaction you should know the effect of those transaction and then you should decide whether it is to be deducted or added i have shown you the list of items to be added and deducted and uh, this you can take as a base 
for uh, doing your questions but understand the implication of a transaction and then it would become more clear as to what is to be done right so any money which is credited into the bank reduces the overdraft balance right and any money which is debited by the bank increases the overdraft balance right so with that i come to the end of this session next session i'll take up an example to illustrate this